Hi, I'm Margaret Reed McDonald, and I wrote this book called Earth Care, World Folk Tales to Talk About. 35 stories from peoples all around the world on caring for our planet. I'm going to tell you one from Brazil called the Curupira. In Brazil, they have a creature called the Curupira, and he is the father of the animals, the keeper of the forest. He's very small, about the size of a fifth grade boy, and he has hair all over his body. He has pointy ears. He can hear anything that happens in the forest, and he rides a wild boar. If he hears someone chopping a tree or shooting at a wild animal, he gets on his wild boar and he rides and chases them off. And if he catches them, oh, he puts his little arms around them. He's not very tall, but he's very strong. And he begins to squeeze. And he squeezes and he squeezes and he squeezes till their bones turn to jelly. Then he cuts a little hole in the skull and sucks all the good out. Then he blows up the skin, ties it up, and hangs it in the tree for someone to find later. So no one really wants to meet the Curupira. Well, there was a man named Carlos, and he was not a good hunter. He'd go in the forest, he'd get his gun ready, a deer, bam, he would miss. A peccary pig, bam, 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 he would miss. He never brought home game. And then he remembered the Curupira, and he'd heard that if you get on the good side of the Curupira, he will let you take enough game to feed your family, not more, but that much. And he knew the Curupira liked sweet things, and that he smoked a little chunky pipe. So Carlos took some honey and some tobacco into the forest, put it on a log by a clearing, and he went away, and he waited about an hour, and he went back, and it was gone. Okay, 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 the Curupira took my gift. Maybe he'll let me get some game today. He got his gun ready, and he went into the forest, and a deer, bam, first shot. Yes, the Curupira is on my side now. He had meat for a long time, and when that was gone, he went into the forest again with more honey, more tobacco, left it for a gift, went away, came back, it was gone. Got his gun ready, a peccary pig, bam, first shot, okay. After that, for a whole year, he never missed once when he aimed at an animal. After a year, he thought, maybe I wouldn't have to leave two gifts for the Curupira. I'll take the honey and nothing else. He still had good luck. Another year passed, two years. He'd never once missed a shot. He said to himself, I don't think I need that Curupira anymore. I'm a good shot. I never miss. Huh. He didn't bring any gift at all, but still he had good luck. Then he heard a man was coming down the river who was buying the skins of wild animals and the feathers of beautifully colored birds and paying a lot of money. I can make a lot of money. I'm a good shot. He went into the forest. He began to kill everything he saw. Bam, 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 bam. Six deer, just like that. Bam, 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 bam. Six peccary pigs. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. Eighteen beautifully colored birds. Bam. He even killed a jaguar. Yes. He drug all the animals into a clearing. He was going to skin them, take the feathers, take the skins, and pack them out and get rich. He had just taken his knife out to cut the first deer when he heard a rustling in the bushes. And out of the bushes came a chicken. The chicken didn't have any feathers on it. It was a totally naked chicken. The chicken looked at him and shook its head crossly. And from the forest, a voice boomed out. Esteban, did you find my animals? Yeah, boss. They're all here, Kudapeta. What'll I do with them? And the voice said, bring them to me, that's what. And the little chicken began to march down the row of dead animals and peck on them. Peck, 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 peck. Come on, deer, get up. Kudapeta wants you. And the deer came back to life. Peck, 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 peck. Come on, peckery pig, Scooter Piddle wants you. And the pigs snorted and came back to life. Peck, 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 peck. Come on, birds, peck, peck, come on. Come. And the birds ruffled their feathers and came back to life. Peck, peck, peck. Come on, jaguar. Scooter Piddle wants you. 
and the jaguar <sighs> came back to life. The little chicken lined them all up in a straight line and began to march into the forest. But before he left, he turned and looked back at the Carlos the Hunter. Hey, boss, what about the man? What will I do with him? And the voice called, leave him for now. We'll come get him a little later. And they all disappeared into the forest. Carlos dropped his knife. He dropped his gun. He left behind the knife. He left behind the gun. He left that, that forest. He left that territory. He never came back. But he left behind the story to warn everyone what happens if you take too much game and anger the Kurupi. A true story from the Amazon.